Hello and welcome to another video. Today I will be overcoming my Asus RX 6900XT Switch Edition. So, if you already saw my unboxing video of this uh, memory card, the Asus RX 6900XT Strix Top Edition, you will know that this card is actually with the strong XTX Ace chip and have a crazy boost clock of 2525 MHz out of the box, which is utterly insane uh, when you look at all the other cards that are running around 2300 MHz or even cards that are running only at 22100 MHz. But can it run even faster? Is there any headroom left? Let's take a look. I was able to get the card to running between 2700 and 2800 MHz on the core. Meanwhile, I'm running 2100 MHz on the memory. This is so, so damn awesome. As I mentioned before, don't forget there are 6900 XT cards out there that's only running at 2200 MHz on the core. And we are like 5 to 600 MHz above that. And this is without any uh, wires running, which you easily can do. I will bet this card to do around 2900 to 3000 MHz on the core if you have modern buyers and really good cooling, which we will get to in another video. But it's all fine with the car can overclock. But does it actually matter? Do we get any FPS increase? Well, let's take a look. If you look at the Time Extreme DT1 test, which is running at 4K and max uh, settings, the car is getting around 72 FPS, it's 4 FPS more than the stock settings, which is quite good considering this is Time Fly Extreme, max settings on 4K. It's around 5% more performance. Now if you look at the normal time by test, the guy is getting over 23,000 DPU score, which is over 2,000 more than the factory overclock uh, core. In True Radar, we are getting a solid 10 FPS more in 4040p and 8 FPS more in 4K. That is a really good step up, step up with the overclock. In Metro Exodus, we are seeing a 6 FPS increase in 4K and almost 10 FPS again in 4040p resolution. And last we have the Rambo 6 seats, where well, yeah, we are running over 300 FPS in 4K with the overclock, over 30 FPS increase and 60 in 4040p. But when we have so many FPS, FPS already, it does not really matter that much. Overall, this is a crazy graphics card. It can easily compete with the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti and 3090. And with this fast overclocking I just did, I was managed to get a top 21 uh, score in Firestrike in the world. That is utterly insane. If I have any bias modding or greater cooling, I would probably aim for top 10. Stay tuned and uh, see you in the next video.